Mysterio, his buddy, uh, Master Pete. Master Pete is also involved in his cereal. Master Pete is involved in Snoop Doggy Dog cereal. So, as I said before, he's not the only one eating. <laughs> Everybody's eating off this cereal. You can eat off this cereal too. I promise you. Just watch. And you should learn how to eat out that cereal. I'm eating off a of Snoop cereal. <laughs> but yo, it gets deeper than that. Check this out. Pop. The rapper Snoop Doggy Dog has launched a new brand breakfast cereal cool, called Snoop Loops. <laughs> Across the United States, we're taking over the breakfast game, says Snoop. <laughs> When we say more marshmallows, we mean you won't have to go on a treasure hunt looking for more marshmallows. Now, I ain't going to front, bro. I have to keep it uh, all the way stack. I'll be searching that Lucky Charm box, boy. I, I'm the picker, you heard? I take them out and I put more marshmallows and I have my girl man like, You took all the marshmallows? Yo, the marshmallows is like the most important part. I think Lucky Charms don't put enough marshmallows. But does Snoop Dogg and Master Pete's marshmallows have cannabis? <laughs> That's the trick. These marshmallows are very addictive, they saying. The government is screaming out help. No more marshmallows. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just saying like, wow. So I got to give them their props, right? Because uh, Snoop comes a long way from his gang banging days, although he's still cyber banging on the low. Like, let's keep it realistic. If you wanted to be a federal agent, but the thing is that you can really tell that these dudes, like, they're not active because <laughs> you can't, you know what I'm saying? But at that point, you don't have to be active because whatever gang you involved in, they so greedy, like they'll let you rock because you got money. So you, you'll be able to do things that the normal other brother won't be able to do. So I'm pretty sure Snoop gets away with murder where he lives at. But check this out, right? Murder was the case that they gave me. Not that he ever got away with murder, right? <laughs> but anyway, Snoop said you no longer have to look for these marshmallows. Who reportedly, uh, Master Pete is his longtime friend. And who uh, reportedly co-found the new line of this uh, <laughs> marshmallow situation. So, you know, he said they very, very delicious uh, for shizzle. <laughs> That's what Snoop said. He said for shizzle, they very delicious. You heard? They delicious for shizzles. But he said delicious because he don't know how to say delicious. You know what I'm saying? We in Brooklyn, that's just out there out here, you heard? We just slanging everything, you heard? Fedex. So we say delicious, <laughs> but he got issues. So you won't have to go treasure hunting. He repeats that a million times. He loves that part of the cereal. And then he says, this is a gluten-free, sugary, colorful, and full of marshmallows. And pronounced by Borders Food. I don't know. Snoop's family owned food product company. His company also sells oatmeal, grits, and pancakes. Of course, all black people love grits. Let's keep it a stock. All the black dudes that I know, they love grits. I fucking hate grits, bro. <laughs> Facts. I hate this nasty. That's that little thing with them little rocks in it. Like, yo, you like to eat rocks? You probably do. <laughs> but shout out to you guys. You guys love grits, bro. That shit is crazy. Upstate in the prison, dudes would be like, yo, you eating your grits? Like, yo, here, bro. <laughs> like, I, I the, the one or two times that we would go to breakfast, like, I was never a breakfast king. But, you know, when shit get rough, sometimes you got to take a walk. You feel me? You keep it a stack. Uh, but sometimes they give something good and you up and I'm like, you know what? I'm going, fuck it. But I don't eat those grits. That's just disgusting, my dude. But uh, the pancakes and all that, I'll bust down depending on who made them. But them cereals is very colorful, you heard? Well, according to the company on the website, 
uh, move was uh, making a different move. Lives and family, communities. We stand for integrity, hard work, and giving back. We strive to provide foods that are deliciously made with the highest quality. Bro, stop it, Snoop, bro. But I get it, though. You know, you can't hate. You can't hate. Anytime somebody comes from the gutter, the slums, the streets, whatever, right? And they're able to do something pop for themselves is a good thing. And Snoop, uh, Snoop did it. So they got this dude, right? <laughs> My dude goes all out. Check this out. Duke is, is not playing with nobody. So uh, Jackson White, right? I'm pretty sure you uh, you probably don't know who Jackson White is. Jackson White says, I'm confused by the amount of marshmallows in Snoop Dogg's new cereal. And he demands answers. Answers demanded by Jack White. Not Jackson. Jack White. C369. Right, Snoop Dogg has a long list of accomplishments, but now he's adding cereal with the new Snoop Loops <laughs> created by the rapper's food company. While a new venture is a surprising business move for the rapper, it seems no one is more confused than Jack White. Jack goes on to say... <laughs> They're like, what's in the box? Also, on the box in large capital letters are the words, more marshmallows. So Jack <laughs> is a jackass, but he's thinking like I'm thinking. Like, what do you mean more? What do you mean more marshmallows? More marshmallows like than who? Than Lucky Charms? More marshmallows than, like, what do these marshmallows do? Why is you, why are you saying it like that, though? Like, like wh- how you mean it? You know what I'm saying? So the white dude is down his neck, you heard? And this is the dude, uh, the white stripe singer, you heard? You know the white, the 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 white stripes, white strips, white stripes, which white strips? You know him? <laughs> Look him up, bro. Cause I don't fucking know him. <laughs> it sounded like I, nah, I know him. He's super wacky, wacky, wacky. But shout out to Jack White, you heard? I'm Jack Tan. I'm Jack Golden. Yeah, cause I'm not I'm not even tan. I'm like tan boy. Shout out to tan boys, bro. Them them dudes are ill. Uh Bodega Bands. You remember them? Bodega Bam and them, like the whole tan boy thing. You probably wasn't up on that because you don't know hip hop, right? Like you know the rappers that everybody heard of. Like, oh Pac and Biggie, man, they was the illest. <laughs> oh shit. Shout out to those good actors. Uh uh Pac, the biggest Best actor in the world, literally. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know what we were just talking about? Somebody told me, yo, Ward, you so you so facts with that. That's so real that people can't understand it. I believe Pac was trolling way back in his time. Pac was clout chasing before the word was even around. Every time Pac did something, he made sure there was a camera around. Like, Pac was the only rapper... And Machete was telling me this. I, I thought about it. It's true. They came out from getting shot, mentioned all the people that shot him right there in front of the news and everything, and nobody said nothing. Made a song about who shot him, mentioned people's names and everything, and nobody never called them what they would name everybody else nowadays. That's crazy, right? Pac was the only dude that was a real, real good boy, got locked up, you know, for some shit, everybody wants to say he didn't do, but he was locked up for rape at a lot. Of, right. Let's not get it twisted. Right. Got out, became a super thug. The money changed him as soon as he got down because he figured he had shook night bloods behind him and all that. So carried away, his persona became a tough guy when he wasn't. He tried to record him pounding out a real street dude to gain more notoriety and more credit. And then got killed. That's crazy, my dude. That was when clout chasing goes super wrong. You know, and shout out to Pac, man, and rest in peace. Right? I'm just saying, that should be a learning experience for people. But we see it backwards. Like, Pac was a genius. Like, I get it, right? Or like, all right, you're a genius. You get locked up. You was a good boy. 
doing singing, doing poetry, doing uh, all types of crazy things. You ever seen Pac talk when he was younger? He was super feminine, like a nice guy, right? As soon as he got a few dollars, he got thugged out. But when you're a fan of somebody, you love them so much, you hug them by the nutsacks, that you, some of you people are willing to even kill for a rapper you don't even know, bro. Like, that's crazy. But you will not do nothing for a family member, somebody that beat your cousin up, uh, the police slamming your brother's head against the concrete. Nothing, nothing at all. I seen dudes on Rikers Island upstate cut each other, stab each other behind a Biggie and Pac argument, bro. Not one of them really never knew Pac or Biggie. That's crazy, my dude. I feel bad for people like that, bro. Like the ignorance of your people. Because that's not my people, people that act like that, bro. So when you talk about things like that, you also got to talk about the situation that happened with the dude. Rest in peace to him. Right? Savage Studios. I was going to make a whole video on that because I had the opportunity to talk to him. Uh, when I was when I was mad, I said the story. For a lot of people that know, know. If you don't know, I'm not here to prove nothing to you or for you to believe in whatever. That's on you, you heard? <laughs> I, don't, I don't live my life like that, you heard? Facts, but... Uh, uh, I even told him one time, like, yo, you got to chill, bro. There's people that watch these things and they get obsessed with the person they watching, but not because they like you, because they mad at what you're saying. Like, you could be against or with abortion, and there's a psycho out there that's willing to look for you and hunt you down and just bam you because he don't can't believe that you're doing this and he don't take his meds that day and he sees you. And he don't even realize what he's doing until you dead and he's getting arrested and he's going to the jail. And then he's like, fuck, when he realizes that he's not going to live like that in the jail, that he's going to be getting smacked up wherever he goes because he's not about that life. Then shit sinks in like, damn, why I kill that dude, bro? Right. Or when people kill people because they dislike somebody because the, the skin color. Well, I got news for you. Everybody in the jail is damn near black. You're done. In New York City, you know, of course, we heard the stories that these people were being oppressed, the lies or whatever. But, homie, it's either they Spanish or black. You're done. So if you racist, you better hold on to that. Because a lot of dudes get locked up and they regret it, bro. Because if you didn't like us, now you're really going to be around us. And dudes act real stupid behind bars, bro. And it's not the young dudes. It's grown 50, 60-year-old men running around the jail, banging, stabbing each other. Ah, oh, wildin'. Yo, go to yard, huh? You be like, he's 60? He moving around like a demon. Yeah. That's why I say it. Every time these dudes blame the youth, where? Everybody that's killing each other, that's dying, that's bl- is, is feeding out people poison, is older people, especially on these platforms. The worst thing that happened to the world was not street dudes, because it's good if you was from the street to learn tech, grow, and make you know, become wealthy and do the right thing, right? But dumb street dudes, like with no brain. Where it's okay if you don't have an education, but it's a different thing to not have an education and not have an understanding or a care for human life, right? Because we all done things. I did a lot of things, but I'm not just going to go up to uh, to you and blam you for something you said unless you pose in a threat to me. I'm going to spin you sideways. But other than that, I'm not looking for you for something you just said that is super petty. But a video bothers people. When you make a video about somebody with their name and everything and referring to that person, there's some people that won't sleep till they find you. Facts. You know how I know? Because I'm like that. In my head, when something happens with me, it's video-wise and it's out there, 
I'm like, oh, boy, son is taking that down immediately because I'm banging him. <laughs> Facts. He don't got to worry about finding me. I'm coming. So you could imagine how other people think. And even though if I'm not going to act off of it, right, because I'm a nice church guy nowadays, but the feeling is there. So other people are the same. Or I say this all the time. When you want to call people a rat, son is a rat. So that's any of your business? He told on you? Who are you, the rat police? Because it don't matter if a do rat it. He'll still body you. Facts. I don't understand where people think like, uh, uh, and the worst thing to do is wake up every morning and you didn't rat. Or you feel that what you did wasn't ratting. Like 6 9 while he did, he don't feel he ratted. He feels it was just. So with a lot of pressure, another dude will blame you. You feel me? Everybody tries to take away from the fact of learning experiences. Like with Eric Holder, if that happened the way people say that it happened, their son called him a rat. Everybody always says if somebody calls you a rat and you're not a rat, yo, you better take care of your business, bro, so you can fix that. He fixed that. What happened? We all got mad, even me. I was depressed. Oh, nip. Right? I'm not crip, but it wasn't about crip. It was the good that the human being did, right? But when you think about it, you're the same person that preached that. Get him. He called you a rat. You better put that work in. So if it happened the way people said, because that's what I remember when it happened. Yo, Nip called him a rat. He blamed him. If it happened like that, that's what the hood applauds. That's what you guys always wanted and always say. Now it was wrong because it was done to a rapper or somebody that you like. Oh, so oh, not him. Not with him, though. That don't apply to him. That just applies to everybody else, but not to him, not to the people I like. <laughs> it don't work that way. So what you say on these platforms, the power of word travels. And a lot of these bimbos and fake content creators, those are videos you're making, my guy, right? It takes a lot to be a content creator. You don't even have the equipment that it takes to be a content creator. How could you be a content creator? Well, you have, you could do it with your phone. But you've been making videos for 30 years. And all you're using is a free app and a phone. Real content creators don't move like that. They show growth. They they start off somewhere and then they show how their setup is growing. How their environment is growing. They don't stay stuck in the same situation. But the gutter, the hood, the slums, the mentality of that. Right? They like to see you better. When you had your apartment and roaches was walking behind in your video. You get it? Now you gang. You heard you really gang. You heard you really gang gang. But the people that's going to bring you the millions of dollars and sign you and put you on podcast episodes, real podcasting, that's going to show you the way, right? That's going to uh, show you how to do tech reviews, how to be an affiliate, right? And I mention all this because these are things that I've been doing for years. They don't let people in like that. And the people that donate, if they ever donated to your show or whatever, they must be thinking like, what the fuck he does with all that money? Because I never seen him buy not one light. And isn't that part of your show, your business, right? To give your people something better to see. But this is where it goes. That people don't care what you see. You get it? It's not that important. But I'm going to tell you why he made sure he bought every morning. A eighth of weed. A new, a new snapback. You heard? Clack. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> a new pair of Jordans. You heard? <laughs> a new pair of shades. Pop. He made sure he had that, a little fade and a and a you heard? and the thing to roll for the video. You notice that every time these dudes just roll while they making a video, my dude, you just pick that time to smoke. 
Some of these dudes don't really even smoke, my dude. They don't even get high. But they smoke during that hour or so that they in a video or streaming. But then here you go, these young dudes that don't have no money and is out there trying to rob somebody to get $100 so they could buy an eighth, a pair of jeans or to keep up. Because I heard somebody say some of these YouTubers or content creators think they celebrities. No, bro. You stuck in the times that you grew up. When you talk to a younger dude or anybody that grew up in the internet era, they understand it, but you still don't. Look up the word celebrity. Some of content creators are more influential in celebrity status than your fucking favorite rapper. So don't get it twisted. And just not so you can hate, just to, so I can help you think better with, 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 with sense. Me and you walk down the street. You a regular dude. You don't make videos. Who you think people are going to recognize first and be like, yo, what, can I take a picture with you? Because I get it all the time, respectfully. So my guy, <laughs> you can't just shit on him like that. Like the reality of it is he did make it to a celebrity status where he's making hundreds of thousands or thousands of dollars that you're not making. So when people comment like that, you just sound like a creep and a hater. You feel me? And it's like, ah, bro, here we go. Another but because I see it on a lot of people's pages like. Uh, this dude, like I seen it in her songs before. I seen that you know, this dude thinks he's a celebrity. Bro, like, do you watch regular TV? No. When you watch videos, music videos, you go where to watch them? To YouTube, different platforms, right? Stop it, bro. Uh, your your favorite rappers, celebrity actors, what are they trying to do right now? What we've been doing, podcasting, shows, right? So stop. You got to give props where props is due. You can't always hate. You feel me? Hating is bad. And when you do it constantly, it just becomes you. You're just a hater. You're a bitter motherfucker. Nobody's going to like you. You get it? Like, stop. Uh, uh, there's levels. A, a dude that has 500 subs, 200, 150, you're on your way. And he's definitely more of a celebrity status than you. But when you're just watching and that's not what you're into, you don't understand it. You're just a hater at times. They'll be like, uh, uh, the dude is laughing at you And you're literally like Yo bro they only make like five dollars bro For every thousand views That shit is so old and such a lie But the dude that you keep commenting that on He's laughing at you to the bank Cause you don't understand it But you stay stuck where you at Waiting for your SSI check And the day that it don't come You're fucked Cause you don't know how to get your own money Cause you still stuck in your time Right That's important that you don't stay stuck in time Bro So I just say that so hopefully you open your eyes For whatever it means to you you're, I really don't give a fuck I say what I feel I say whatever comes to my mind I'm Warpath you heard? Facts. How you doing What's your name Tommy Joey <laughs> Okay <laughs> So yeah the new cereal I would never fucking buy I would never eat it But it's there Snoop Dogg shit you heard? Snoop Dogg Loopy Loops Whatever Get it you heard? He didn't pay me to tell you that But now nah, It seems like it's probably gonna be Disgusting But it looks good The box looks good And I'm gonna tell you why the box looks good Snoop understands The gaming community Snoop is on Twitch with us You heard? Like all those celebrities came to Twitch Came to Discord when they figured it out. Like, holy snap, this is what people been doing. <laughs> if I knew all of this that I've been doing, like all these platforms I'm on, even with my gaming, if I knew how to build computers back then, like I learned now, if I was working for people, like, bro, I've made, respectfully, I've made a hundred and, in fact, I made $280 in less than 15, 20 minutes. Just talking to a dude about fixing his audio. Like, I didn't even literally have to go there and fix it. When he told me how much is it, that's 280 my G. Facts. Because we understand the money racket. Like, how much you charge for this, how much you... He didn't have a problem. He thought it was going to be more. Because I was, you know, like, live with him. Send him the link, boom, and we work on your audio. So these are things, remarkable skills that you acquire. And once you learn them, then you're going to be charging people like everybody else. It's your time. Time is valuable. And if that's what you do for a living, like some of us do in the tech world, 
then you got to make an income because, like, your light don't get paid for free. But the people that comment like that, their light does get paid for free. They on Section A and everything is included. And the welfare sends a check to the light. The welfare sends a check to their water. They don't know what it is to have a water bill and their wife being down their neck like, nigga, you've been on the internet fucking for eight months. Like, you're not going to give me no money for, you just keep buying things for your setup, huh? Like, like the shit I be hearing, right? You, you, you don't hear that because your shit is included. And the government just sends a check there. So you never even seen a bill. And when you, when it comes, your girl takes care of it. And she brings it to the welfare clinic, and they give her one-shot deals, all that. She stands on the line, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, I've I've been there. I've been with women that have done it. I've been in the situation myself. Like, I've been there, right? But what I'm saying is that's why some people don't understand it because they never grew from that. They took something they're supposed to be temporarily and made it for their eternal life, like... <laughs> Up to they no longer here. And you can't tell them nothing about getting up to work or do nothing or being a boss. Because he is a boss. He waits till he gets his food stamps. He cashes them. He buys a pair of Jordans. Right? And three grams of hard so he could flip it on the block. Right? When he changes his food stamps. Let's keep it a stack. And that's his life. You heard? And then when his kids say, I'm hungry. There's nothing there because your pops changed the food stamps so he could re-up. But he still hasn't bring nothing to the house because he's hanging out trying to look like the man to the fellas on the block. Keeps lighting up. Yo, I'm going to go with y'all. Like, he got it like that, you heard? Like, he's the man. But he don't make no bread. One time, one of my friends, this blood dude that I hang out with, he's my guy, too. I got a lot of love for him, right? But I had to check him. I said, son, you sound fucking corny. I said, yo, son, you out here all day talking about you getting it, you getting it. Like, you fucking up this block. You know, this was when I was out there because you guys are getting me indicted. So he was like, yo, bro, I spent it $407 this morning. But look, I'm fly, my dude. Said, the bitches is feeling me. I'm the man. And he always stayed fly, right? But he was always broke. It's because the first $100 that he'll get, $200, he'll run, go buy a new pair of sneakers to change so you can see him on the block with the new sneakers. And he was 46, 47, still doing this. He popped like a machine. He'll pop your whole top at 47. Ain't nobody saying nothing, the son. Trust me. The only one that could calm him down and be like, yo, chill, son, is me. So dude used to come get me like, yo, tell the blood, tell your blood little boy to chill, bro. Like, but <laughs> my thing is, homie, them sneakers is ugly as fuck. You not doing nothing with them sneakers and you ain't back, not one girl. So some dudes just spend all day in the street hanging out trying to look fly and thinking like they the man, and every time you get $10, you buy weed to smoke, whatever your drug of choice is, it's gone. You don't see no money. That's why I tell people I've seen more money now than I did my whole life. And I'm not selling drugs no more. I just stopped selling drugs yesterday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke, Tubi. <laughs> it's part of the show, entertainment. So... This is facts. You know why? And even if I was getting more money while I was hustling, this is why I'm going to say this to you. I see it different because I would spend it quick. Cars, chilling, right? Now I get to sit down, and if I get 100, 200, 2,000, you ever like, slow down, sit down, bro. Sit the fuck down. Analyze what's going on. I get to make conscience right decisions with it. When when I was in the street, if I made 500,000, 3,000, if I did a stick up for a few thousand, I'm just giving you 7,000 like my dude. Like, yo, here, son, do you. 
Like if it's nothing No respect for bread Cause I'm out there I got a blicky I do what I want out this bitch I get it again in two minutes What happened? You got it? <laughs> but now You get to see it And enjoy it And It's amazing What a hundred dollars Could do You get it? Like because you no longer doing things for other people. You're doing things that satisfy you as a man. I can't explain it. I guess I'm growing. I guess I grew. And that's just the way I see shit. In order for me to acquire a lot of my system, like I spent thousands, right? I hate to say, but it's facts, right? For the dudes that are into tech. But one thing that I did was I stopped buying sneakers. I stopped buying Jordans. I already had a lot of hats, so I I was able to chill for a few months without buying a, even though I still bought a fitted in there, but I lost like four or five fitters, right? And I was still able to uh, uh, be, be all right, decent, but I stopped worrying about clothes for a minute, bro. Especially when I'm making content and the only color that you could really wear with a green screen is black. Because whenever I did use my green screen, this is not a green screen, by the way. This is my fucking room. It's my setup, my YouTube content creation studio. But everybody knows the professional thing to do is use green screen when you're in the gaming world, when you make another type of content. The news uses it, Fox 5, everybody. Or you think that's really the news station with the end? No. That's this, my dude. What I've used. Pop. No, not that. My bad. Wrong thing. But that's gangster right there. That's this, bro. <laughs> Facts. And they put themselves right in front of it. And they in the back. And they're like, hey, Howard, how you doing so today? And the dude is in his basement with a pair of boxes on, bro. How you think that the world goes in a crisis? Like where the trains are down. There's no transportation. But the news is always up. And the dude is always fully dressed with a suit and tie at the news station. Hello? Ping, 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 ping. Something to think about, right? But I know because I make content. He has a big-ass green screen, and he knows how to use it, and he puts it to work. And that's what happens. Pop. <laughs> so you got to understand green screen, when you see somebody, and being that you're not into content, you try to put that dude down. Like if he's hiding because his background is whack or whatever, or he's trying to make believe. No, he's being professional. In order for you to get hired by any podcast agency, even for iHeartRadio to look at you, when I got on iHeartRadio uh, uh, and they hit me up, like, yo, come to iHeartRadio, boo. It didn't take me. If you sign up for iHeartRadio, they want to show proof that you're a podcaster. You got to send them episodes and they'll answer you back maybe in four to five months. For some people, it may take four to five years. You just don't get in there. But why they respected me? And I did my podcast show alone, respectfully. They said, we love the way you did it. The way originally podcast started. One man in a room. And entertained a lot of people. Imagine if you worked with a crew. But I don't like to work with dudes. <laughs> Facts. At all, at all. I don't like to work with nobody. <laughs> it's not needed. Facts. <laughs> Not when you entertaining. For what the fuck? <laughs> for what? For what? Go on your show for what? For what? Let me know. For what? To make you $500,000? To make you $100? To make you $50? For what? To go on your show for what? For what? Tell me. For what? <laughs> it's not needed. <laughs> right? So if you ever bored and you want to have Son of Doom and you're tired of all these executive dancings, yo, shout out to Irv Gotti. Yo, you're the illest criminal I ever met. Irv Gotti. Shout out to Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti is a manipulator, a shit talker. The reason he got 300 and something mil, he was able to talk so much shit to the white man that they liked him and they gave it to him. He's a manipulator. He can manipulate with his mouth. He got a gift of gab. You seen how you give an ignorant motherfucker $300 million? Do you know how many people Irv's Gotti, I don't give a fuck how nobody takes this. This is facts. Do you know how many people his $300 million may get killed? We keep giving millions of dollars 
to ignorant motherfuckers that act smart. They good actors. They learn how to act. Any nigga that has sex with a young woman like Ashante and goes up there and drags her and talks like greasy shit about a woman that they slept with looks like a dick. Facts. You were sleeping with her, my dude. Number one, this shows you, this should show you how much of creeps this industry is. Dumb niggas will fuck you. Facts. They'll fuck you. They met Ashante, a singer. I could imagine how the conversation went. Probably nothing needs to be said. Like, you want to make it, girl? You know what you got to do? You got to make out with that ugly-ass old nigga right there that owned the company, Irv Gotti. She was probably like... I can't believe I killed that motherfucker. He had a little thick like this, mommy. Oh, my God. I got to wash up. I got to wash up. Nigga, tell the truth. These niggas is washed. Talk about washed, my nigga. And the first thing the ignorant millionaire motherfucker does is go up there and be like, Nigga, I shot you. You plow the plow. Fucking reciting fucking Tupac lyrics about shoot him shit up. Murder, nigga. Like, it's murder. Like, my dude, you're giving money to the people that are causing for this internet, social media, the business to keep hurting our own people. It starts with dumb motherfuckers. He, he, he's good. He got 300 mil, right? He got 100 mil. 200 mils for business and the people want in. Facts. So let's get this shit right. I'm not in his pocket. I just talk facts. But my thing is this. <laughs> the white man is a smart dude, bro, with no hate. You heard? With no hate. Uh, here we go again. A company that can't go to the ghetto. Earth can't really even go to the ghetto like that. But money makes you go to the ghetto. You know how to talk. You get it? You know how to talk. You know these people already. So it's like a plug plug, a win win. Right? I get 300 mil. The last fucking thing I'm going to do is go on Nori's platform and be like, man, I loved when Pac. Pac was a real motherfucker. He shot cops. This nigga seen the cops hitting a black brother and he blamed them. Pac was clout chasing, bro, early. Dumb dudes invented clout chasing, trolling. As the years went by, we just put words to it, faces, the cameras came out. Everything Pac did, he did it in front of a camera, respectfully, right? Because I respect what he did. He became a millionaire. I don't respect that he became a gangster when he was a good boy. See, we are backwards. I was a devil, a street nigga, a piece of shit. I'll rob anybody. You can ask dudes. You heard dudes up here say it. And when I came on video and the internet and started getting, you know, all up in the videos, run the and see him shit, you heard? You want to be boom, 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 I started telling you that there's a better way than the way I was living. Not dumb. They was living a better way and then came to bring havoc to you at the screen. And you bought into it. Because you was a demon all along. You was devilized. You heard? And you just was waiting for your family uh, uh, of birds to do the calling. <laughs> and you blend right in. <laughs> like flying pigeons. <laughs> you ever flew pigeons? <laughs> and you got in line. <laughs> Pac is the only dude that came out of jail, got shot, was locked up for rape. Nobody says nothing. Came out, got blamed, and came out mentioning everybody's name, and nobody said nothing. Come on, bro. But again, shout out to him. You're, I don't disrespect the dead. I'm just saying facts. My opinion. I could give an opinion, right? Or oh, you're going to kill me too <laughs> because you're mad. <laughs> you're, don't slip or fall when you're trying to blam. Don't let it get jammed because I take those. Ask anybody that knows me. I reach. I'm not scared again. I grab those. 
pop. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> finish him. So don't don't blink, you heard? You better blam, keep in your head like he's going to grab it. Keep in your head. Don't slip. <laughs> you heard? Because I'm going to play super pussy. The minute you slip, you're going to see a different side of me. If you even see the side of me, you heard? You might just see bloop. <laughs> but shout out to you, bro. Pac was a good dude, bro. You know, I think Pac had a lot of potential to do a lot of great things for America. But sometimes I go back and I look at the story and what people say, you sound hypocritical and stupid. He was able to tell you Brenda had a baby and the next day come out and shoot three people. My nigga, that's cool. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. That's like, yo, Jesus like fucking made daylight. Yo, Jesus is the man, you heard? But just from time to time, he fucks niggas in the ass. I know it sounds crazy, right? That shit you said sound crazy too. It's just a different choice of words. But the power of word is still within. It's some powerful shit. Like, damn, bro, you bugging, right? <laughs> it's crazy. So imagine Jesus doing shit like that. Because you looked at Pac like Jesus. When he wasn't, you still do. To some of these dudes, Pac is still alive. My dude, he's deader than dead. <laughs> He's gone, homie, and respects to him and respects to the dead. Rest in peace, right? But we praise this dude got 300 million and was like, you know, I had to pock in me, shoot him up, blah, 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 blah. Yo, Pac was the realest dude. How you know that's factual? These niggas believe anything, bro. Were you there? Yo, Tretch told me. Trutch is my nigga. He ain't gonna lie to me. Let me tell you about your nigga. <laughs> they lie more than anybody, homie. I've been in prison and jail, the streets, all my life. The biggest of liars that I've met in my life have been street dudes, gang members, jail niggas. They lie like a motherfucker. Like it's natural, bro. Facts. They see a psych and the psych tells them that they have a problem with lying and they'll lie right there to the psych and be like, no, I don't. The psych is like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> You're lying right now, bro. These dudes go to Rikers, put on whatever they was given then. Let's just say video music box. <laughs> or Soul Train and be like, son, that's Dante. Son, that's Gene's cousin, nigga. Like, in fact, son, he was just here seeing me on the VI floor, son, right? You seen him? His man who not yeah and all that. I don't co-sign lies. I'll be like, son, I wasn't there. I don't remember what the fuck you talking about. You be mad because I don't co-sign dumb shit. These dudes co-sign lies. And one little lie gets blown up and becomes facts. And it's still happening today. I don't know, bro. We got to choose your people wisely. Who you look up to, who you admire, because the person that you watch constantly, nine times out of ten, is his energy is going to be projected to you and it's who you're going to become. And it's exactly what's going to take place in your life. You want to be Pac that bad? You want to be Pac? Because Pac died. Pac got killed in the street. That's gangster? Everybody's gangster when their money's up. That's not your work. The only work you're doing is the manipulator... The paying people. That's not your work, bro. Suge Knight made most of his money using our Latino people, using the Mexicans to go talk to Lil Wayne, to all these rappers, putting pressure on them and be like, well, the Mexicans outside ain't playing and they want to talk to you. Meanwhile, them same Mexicans couldn't walk in his coast. But you gather up 10 of them, pay them, Walk up to a dude's room and be like, the essays want to talk to you. And now you scaring our own little black brothers. And he's like, nah, Shook, I got you with 20 down. Like, I ain't got a problem. You know, I'm willing to look out, man. You know. And it's all our people robbing our people. 
And we applaud this shit on the internet, in music videos, everything. Black and brown people, we are the destroyer of ourselves. You will kill me or comment something bad about me before you will about anybody. You won't even do that about your neighbor that has you super upset, homie. That keeps making noise, whatever they doing. You would never say shit because he'll knock you out cold. <laughs> but you'll come to the internet. And say something to somebody that is trying to tell something to people for the better of people. Not just my people or people, mankind as a whole. And even you, right? And I don't have to because I could be the devil. At times, I think like something magical gets within me when I get on here. Because at times I could be a total different person once I get off. And a lot of people that really know me like this guy better. And I'm like, I don't know. I just can't be fake doing foul shit here and there or done so much foul shit in my life and then preach the way I am. I want you to be that way. I want better for you because I'm doing all that and going through all that. And I know it's the same so that you don't have to go through it. And I know that it'll fuck up your life because it fucked up minds and it at times it still is fucking up minds. You get it? So if you're a type of dude that likes to play your house and you don't like to be outside with us because dudes act stupid, right? Our people act stupid in Brooklyn, the Bronx, all over. We got act stupid, you heard? You walk through, we like, what up? Fuck, you looking at, right? Bah, hold that, right? To another dude that look just like us or to, he's not really doing nothing, you heard? He's walking with his girl. You like, what up, man? Like, that's a violation, bro. Like, would you like that done to your grandmother? You know, would you like somebody to grab your grandmother's tit and pull it? What up, Grandma? Sateta. <laughs> huh? Right? Would you like people to do that? No, right? It's the wrong thing. Yo, what up, Wella? Pa! <laughs> What's up, baby? Damn. It's just right, baby. Yo, Wella got some big nibbles. Right? You wouldn't like people to do that. Why would you do that to the next dude's girl? She gonna be a grandmother one day. Or she probably still is a grandmother. It don't matter. People look super young. But dudes will be like, fuck you, bitch, right? That's foul. Shorty ain't saying nothing to you. She's trying to be a woman. That's the one you should want to talk to. You shouldn't want to be like, ew, what up, baby? And she stop and kick it with you and give you the number, and that's the girl that you're going to wife. That shouldn't be it. She stopped for a lot of niggas that look like you that day, bro. I don't know. What are we talking about here, though? I don't fucking know. All I know is that we come here and some magic shit happens and we get busy. But in the link in the description of this video, this is the keyboard and mouse that I was showing you guys before. So there's a video on it on Tech for Rec, T E K, the number four and R E K, but the link is there. I need you to get this, right? It's only $13, the whole combo, keyboard and mouse. So you could buy a bunch of these, re put them back up. You could buy, start with three. Start an online web store on Shopify, right? And put this for $25, $35. RGB, 60% gaming and editing keyboard with mouse. Braided red and black cord. And then holla at me, bro. Facts. You could thank me later. And then from there on, if you don't think different on what your hustle is, and you don't look at it like you're an entrepreneur, you're a smart dude, like your flip is different. Like I don't sell no more crack. You heard? I sell tech stuff. I sell streams. I sell clicks. Like in real time, you heard? Like facts. Like, 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 like we sell webcams. Like this webcam right here. The link is in the description too. $10. 
right? Now, I got one that costs hundreds. But when you're first starting your content and you don't want to break the bank because you didn't make no money yet, this shit will do, bro, with the right lighting and everything. It works miracles. Facts. It's not about the camera. It's about the lighting. Lighting is the most important. Then it's your audio. Could you imagine, I always say this, how much further in content creation and podcasting Nori would get if he didn't have this noise every time he podcasts? <laughs> that shit is annoying, my dude. I cannot watch that whole show, and I love Nori. I love my Puerto Rican people. I love my black people. I love all people when you talking something that's right, right? But I can't sit there and watch that shit because I'm a tech dude. And my thinking is like, homie, let me go there and fix that shit for you, bro. I'll have that whole shit quiet. You can't hear a pin drop when you stop talking. Right? (laughs) Did you hear a pin drop? So... But instead of people hitting even him up with that, yo, on the lock, I was trying to help you because that's how you network. We can't do that. I can't go to his page. You could do it because you're not monetized. You don't understand when you, when they got your social security number and all that and the rules, right? You can't go to another YouTuber's page that's monetized and it's a content creator known and be like, yo, follow me, follow for follow. That don't work. Even the owners of YouTube tell you don't do that. It gets picked up as spam. Your channel goes nowhere. If you thought you wasn't going nowhere then, you're going to go nowhere for real. And when you say, yo, work with me, and you, it's like you're bothering him. So that has to be done through the people that watch you. You get it? Like, that's the way it always works. Unless you figure out how to hit homeboy on the side and y'all talk. But picture me hitting Nori all the time like a bird. <laughs> nah, but I would like to fix that, bro. That shit is annoying. I, I like that show a lot. But I just hate the noise, bro. Imagine how many followers you have without that. 90% of people that tune into your show, when they hear noise from these fans going, they're not listening to that. People are listening on on headphones, bro, while they working out. Could you imagine that? Why I just did that? I look like that dude that was Miko's boy, Miko's chili. <laughs> it just reminded me of him like, damn. <laughs> but yo, yeah, get your life ready, bro. Get your life right. You already know how you do it, right? One, two, one, two. <laughs> Not cool, bro. So, so they pause networking G with established stages. I don't get it. Abuelas <laughs> tetas. Why did I say that? Oh, okay, I know why. Aloha. Uh, this is the same argument I have for years. I don't get it. Facts. Pac got checked by the essays in LA. Now, all I know is that that Pac wasn't the gangster that these dudes perceive him to be. You feel me? That's a fact. And these dudes, this is what happens every day. You open the window for people to be a good boy, like 6 9 He got those things from Pac. He said, damn, he was a good boy like me. 
Then he went and got the bloods and he became gangster because he had a backing. He was able to do what he wanted because the one dude that had people shook and it wasn't really him. It was the essays. So the little essay, 6 9 did the same thing. He pulled the Pac move on ya. He got shoddy. There was Shook Knight in his hood. <laughs> and he did what he wanted to do. And he kind of sort of became Pac. He was just not dumb enough to stay standing there or go beat up other gang members. Like, you feel me? Like, that are really going to rock him. That's just my take on it, bro. Don't hate me, you heard? It just is real like that. Nigga could have made a healthy cereal. That's a fact. Yeah, you know what it is? He's right. He could have made a good cereal. But the reason why he did those colors of that cereal is because those colors, he figured, bro, Sapo, you know, we use those colors on Twitch. We use those colors on, on it's those colors on my computer right now. And on that's the light that I'm using. You see the light back here? Sometimes I turn it purple, blue, all colors. He knows that in the gaming community and the gaming content, that's what they use. And that's one of the biggest industries and content creation industries in the world. It's been that way. <laughs> Facts. So he knows that. He's going to make millions more gaming and all that with that cereal. That cereal looks like it's RGB. Like it has color lights in it. It's the same color as Twitch. The Twitch theme. Facts. I'm bugging Sapo. He knows what he was doing. He's like, that's going to draw the attention of people. That's his hopes. I bet you that shit is all over Twitch commercials. Facts. And Discord. Money is what complex, yeah. They don't let you network with monetized networks. Nah, nah, they do, but they do, they do. But after a while, it looks like spam. Like, you can't be going, I can't go to five channels right now and be like, yo, sub for sub. <laughs> they're going to shut my channel down. Facts. Immediately they're gonna start looking at that Like especially if you've been around for years And they know you Like you gotta remember I ain't even trying to show off I I, I, I sit there in the meetings In YouTube meetings I got a gig there This is facts Everybody knows that So like especially me You get it? Like so You know the last time I was in a meeting with all of them There was a girl that was in the meeting That was like oh I know you She went just like that The white girl She went oh I know you <laughs> And he was like on the log out, what you got to say about that? And she was like, I knew it. I knew it was him. And he looked at her like, you grouping this dude, bro? Like, we working here, man. Like, relax. <laughs> you heard? But it was cool that she knew me. Like, I knew who she was, too. She's a gamer. She makes gaming content. And she makes over... Well, last year, I, they, they blew up everybody's earnings and put them out there. But it's not actual factual. She actually made more than that. But they had her listed as making 20 mil. And she said, actually, that was just on ad revenue on Twitch. I mean, on it's on, on subs on Twitch. Like, the subs on a lot of platforms are different. Every time somebody subs, you actually get 4 or $5. And some people have 40 million subscribers, and they subscribed each month. So each month from each person, you get $5. You times that by 40 million. <laughs> and that's just one ad revenue. Facts That's besides the thousands of dollars They get in donations Every live stream All that Just go look at Dr. Disrespect Then get back to me That's just a light one And he's here on YouTube now YouTube paid the millions of dollars To come game on YouTube Or Tim the Tapman you never look at gaming the same again You probably will never even make regular videos You'll start gaming tomorrow So when you ask me why I'm gaming Then you can stop and think Like damn War's a smart nigga I'm everywhere, as much as you hate it or not, you're, I'm the new Tupac of this bitch, facts, <laughs> without the fake shit, shout out to Pac though, <laughs> I don't know not one of his songs though, I, I swear to God, he was not my favorite rapper, Biggie I liked a little bit because I'm from Brooklyn, but 
they not in my top five of rappers. Like, they don't have to be. And some people get shocked. Like, no, me, what do, what you mean? What's this to be shocked about? We don't need to like the same music, bro. <laughs> my top five of rappers involves fucking even Daddy Yankee, Anuel, like, <laughs> Tempo. Like, it's, it's different, bro. Like, <laughs> like hello. <laughs> I got to like what I like. I love hip hop, but they not in my top five, bro. Never. Pun is. <laughs> Like, you're bugging, right? Pun was sicker than all of them when it came to real wordplay and rap. The thing is that they was able to front in front of cameras, and they was trolling in the early 90s, bro. They was clout chasing. Clout got a lot of people killed, bro. Facts. Everything that Pac did when he popped, did this, everything he disrespected people, he did it in front of a camera, bro. He knew that the tough guy persona was going to sell, and he did it all the way to it got him killed. That should be a learning experience. I'm not trying to diss him. It should be a learning experience to you. Facts. But stay up, man. I love you guys, bro. It's hot in here and I should close this door for the AC. But I'll be out tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to take phone calls on this situation and how you guys feel about it. And did you try Snoop Dogg's new cereal? <laughs> I'm about to go play some Apex. I got a channel here on YouTube called On The Lockout Gaming. I'm going to be there. Facts. Like by 11.35. On The Lockout Gaming. Hopefully this thing works. I plugged it back in. It was working pretty good. Let's see. So I'm going over there. On the lockout gaming facts. Stay up, man. I love y'all. Gang. I'll come out and kick it with y'all tomorrow early, bro. Facts. Love y'all, bro. Stay up. Stay out of trouble, man. You heard?